What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com So today we're going to take a look at uh, Born With Nothing, Die With Everything by Papa Roach uh, This was kindly requested and supported by Michal, so big thanks goes out to him This is a really cool song with great riffs and it's a lot of fun to play it uh, The uh, tabs and the backing track are going to be available at GuitarForce.com or on my Patreon page All of the links, links are going to be in the description box down below also, I'm going to post the link to the uh, cover playthrough of this song, which is on my other channel, but the link is also going to be in the description box down below. Uh, for the sound, I was using the uh, VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the picture of the preset that I was using for this song. And the tuning for this song, for this lesson, is going to be we're going to have to drop down all the strings a uh, whole step, plus we drop the low E another step. So it's actually uh, it's like a dropped D, but all of the strings are down uh, one whole step, so the low E becomes C. And uh, while you are checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E, which is C, so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's go for the close-up and start the lesson. Alright, so we're gonna start off with the intro, goes like this. Alright, so this riff is a little bit tricky because we have um, alternating equal amount of notes with uh, odd notes. So in this case it's two notes and uh, the three notes. So the riff starts off with the 12th fret on the low E. I will play two notes, then two notes on the A string 12th fret, and then here we play three notes on the low E 12th fret, followed by two notes on the 15th fret. So we have like that, then uh, a little rest, and then we play 15, one note, then we go down to the 10th fret and we play three notes here, followed by a quick open low E. So that's the riff, and uh, then we repeat it. So slowly the whole riff uh, from the beginning is going to be like this. Okay, and we play it two times, so we have... Then we change positions, we go to uh, another tonality here and we play the same riff but obviously it's going to be different notes. So the first part is going to be like this. So as you can see we play 8 on the low E, so the C, the C note here. And then it's followed by 12 on the A string. Then we play three notes again back to the first note. And then uh, we have uh, two notes on the A fret of the A string. So we have. Then again it's a rest. And then we have. So it's uh, eight frets on the A. Then we've, uh, it's followed by three notes on the 10th fret, followed by an open uh, low E again. So slowly it's going to be like this. Then we repeat again the whole uh, the whole riff again. And when we get to the 8th fret on the A string, uh, without there is no rest, so we play uh, just four notes on the 8th fret. And then it's followed. So we have again open low E, then three notes on the 10th fret, followed by an open low E again. So altogether this second part is going to be like this. Okay, now when we put both parts together, slowly it's going to be like this. Okay. 
All right, so after the intro, we go into the next part. The whole band kicks in now. And we have uh, this riff, which is being played for three times. The first time without the vocals, and then the second and third time it's the, with the vocals. So it's the uh, riff that we play during the verses. And the idea behind the riff is exactly the same as the intro, but now instead of playing single notes, we're going to be playing with chords. And it's slightly different to the intro. Uh, I'm going to play it through once and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. Okay, so as you can see in the tablature as well, um, it's exactly the same, like I said, rhythmically. So we alternate two, two, three, two, and we are playing with chords. So here the chords are going to be because of the uh, tuning. We have the, the, the C chord, which is with the open strings. So we alternate that. We simply just play uh, with open strings and then uh, we go for the seventh fret, which is the A chord. So we play two times here. So we have, and then again open three times, and then we go for the F chord. We play two times. So uh, the first part going to be like this slowly. So here we have a rest, and then we have. So it's a quick kind of passing chord. Uh, notes on the low E string and uh, the A as well. So we play. And this chord that we are going to be playing kind of ring out is the C chord. Now uh, I've seen that they play it differently. So once they can play it here, or you can play this chord here on the 10th position, just playing with one finger. So it's up to you which way you want to do. To me, it's kind of easier to play here because of the um, after the F chord that we play here. So we have then we repeat it again. Then we go to the eighth fret and we do the same thing rhythmically. Uh, we alternate that with the seventh fret. So we have and the ending is exactly the same. So we'll go to the F chord and then again. We play it once and then second time there is no rest, but we play right after the uh, F chord here on the third fret. We slide up to the uh, tenth fret. So we have. Like that. So when I put both parts together, slowly going to be like this. So that was the riff during the verses. Then we go into pre-chorus. Let me play it through first and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. Okay, so here again, same idea. We're going to be using um, the first two, three strings as a chord. So we go to up to the 12th fret and here we play on the 12th fret four 16th notes, which is followed by two on the 15th fret, then two on the 12th. So we have like that. Then we have a rest uh, and then we go into 10th fret and we're going to be playing these um, two 16th notes followed by a rest. So we have and it also happens on the offbeat, so keep that in mind. Then we go to the 12th fret and we, we follow the same structure. So again, rest and then twice two 16th notes on the 12th fret. And here we play it for three times. Like that. So, so far we got this slowly. Then we have... So it's... Uh, 10 fret two times, 12 fret two times, 10 fret two times. Then we move down now to the um, 8 fret and here we're going to be adding 10 frets on uh, D string. So we have four 16th notes here. 
Then we add 12 fret uh, on the D string, still keeping uh, the low E and the A on the on the tenth on the eighth fret. I'm sorry, and we play for two times uh, 16th notes with the rest again, and then third time we go back to the tenth fret on the D string. So this uh, second part gonna be like this. like that. And then we have kind of the transition figure which starts off on the off beat and here we're going to be playing again uh, 16th notes, two 16th notes. So it starts off with the 7th fret, 8th fret, then we play 7 once followed by an open strings. So we have and then we go into so we go down to the 3rd fret and we play Third, third fret to the fifth, two times, and then three, five, the last. Um, so the last part slowly is going to be like this. So now when I put all of the parts together, the pre-chorus slowly is going to be like this. So after this part we go right into the chorus and we have this kind of repetitive uh, riff. Uh, first of all I'm going to play it through and then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. Okay, so here we start off with the open strings two times. And uh, then we hit the third time. You can either hit or just let ring out this chord. And then we go into this. Uh, so it's basically two times. And then third time you can either play the low E or just the chord. And then go into the hammer on. So you just can uh, let it ring out. So the, the first hammer on is going to be 10 to 12 on the... A string, then a little rest, which then it's followed by 8 to 10, and then we have so it's hammer on pull off 7 8 7, then we go to 10th fret on the low E, back to 7 on the A string, and that's the whole riff. So slowly, and then we repeat. Then we simply go to the 8th fret, so instead of open strings now, we play 8. And rhythmically and also the hammer-ons are exactly the same, so we have... And we play it for two times. And then we alternate that with the open strings. So that was the riff uh, for the chorus, then after that, after the first chorus we go back to playing the verses, the riff is exactly the same. Uh, after the second verse we go into second chorus and it's also exactly the same with the exception of uh, at the very end when we play the second part when we have So this transition before going to the bridge section, uh, when we play the second time on the on the eighth fret, and then we play the first hammer on, but then we go right into. So we play an open strings or just the low E, and then we alternate that with the third fret, and we do it for three times, like that. So we have. Like that. And then we go into the bridge section, which goes like this. Alright, 
so this part is probably the most difficult of the song because of the um, um, fast and uh, you know wide movements here on the fretboard. Uh, but anyway, so we start off with a, a kind of D uh, open chord. So again, the first two three strings uh, on the um, the sixth fifth and fourth string open two eighth notes. Then we have a an octave, so it's a C, oct C octave here, third fret on the A, fifth fret on uh, G string. Play two sixteenth notes here, then we move up two frets, so we play another two sixteenth notes here, so we have like that. Then we have a passing note uh, on the lower strings open, then we play an F octave, two sixteenth notes here. Again, followed by uh, lower strings open, passing notes. Then we play this chord, 6th fret, 3 16th notes. And then we move up to the 8th fret. So, so far we got this slowly. Then we let it ring out, and then we pick it two more times, so one, once. You can play two 16th notes, or just one 8th note. Oh. And then we have, so here we go to the 10th fret and 12th on the G, 10 on A and 12th on G, and we play this slide, so it's up two frets, back again and then down two frets, again octave, uh, down to the 8th fret and 10 on the G. Um, uh, then it's followed by again a passing uh, chord notes on the lower strings. Then we play two more times, two sixteenth notes here um, on the same uh, octave. Then again we have the passing notes, and then we have four sixteenth notes, just moving that octave down one fret, so seven and nine. Okay, like that. So when I put this part. Um, together, all of the uh, these little parts slowly is going to be like this. So that's part number one. Then we go back to the beginning again, and we have. So up until this moment is exactly the same as in the beginning. And as we stay here on this 8th fret, now we pick it uh, 2 16th notes followed by another uh, 4 16th notes here. So, and then we go into. So, just uh, playing that F octave for um, 4 16th notes, followed by we move down to the E and it's followed by uh, 4 16th notes here. So, we have. Like that. So when I put together uh, this part, um, it's going to be like this slowly. Then we play uh, again the first part just like we did previously, so it's exactly the same. Then the last part, again, the first part is, is, exact, is exactly the same. So again, we stay on this chord, picking it, and now the octaves are going to differ. So we have the E octave for four sixteenth notes, and then we go down to the C octave here on the third and the fifth fret on the G. Four, four sixteenth notes again. So we have, and then we have. So it's kind of triplet feel. To, we have triplet feel to it. We play three times the open D chord. You can add, you know, the the uh, G and the B strings as well, or just play the lower strings like that. All right, so after this bridge part, we then go into kind of break, um, where we have um, get, both guitars are playing uh, the uh, chorus riff, which is. So 
So both guitars are playing that uh, for two times and then we have uh, just one guitar playing that riff with the um, with the flanger on it and it's just one guitar and we played for three times the third time uh, actually the second guitar comes in and they play um, both parts exactly the same by the end of uh, this third uh, time when we play the chorus riff we have an, an ending which is including uh, this octave I'm gonna play through uh, just once to show you how it goes so basically it's the uh, the end of the uh, second of the, of the uh, second part when we play the uh okay so we play uh, on the eighth fret here the chorus and then the hammer ons then second time and then when we play the first time uh, the uh, hammer on this 10 to 12, after that we go right into this octave which is so it's here on the uh, 15th fret on the A and 17 on the G string and we play it for 16th notes, uh, 8 16th notes here like that and then we, the whole band again kicks in uh, the chorus and we play um, practically the, uh, the riff the chorus until the end with the included this octave here by the end of the second time of the second uh, part of the of the riff and we played until the end and now guitar number one is playing that until the end guitar number two is playing also that part with the octaves um, but the very last time when uh, when they play this uh, the um, second guitar is actually playing adding some 16th notes but playing chords so it plays so it's just adding a little bit of variation here uh, like I said just playing the chords 16th notes first of all we play the open strings palm music and then we go to the 8th fret and then we add the uh, the octave here and then the very end is we have so we play this for four times all together and that's how they end the song all right and one more thing before we end the song there is a third guitar playing uh, this kind of melody which is played underneath uh, both guitars and it's um, it, it comes in during the uh, second time of the uh, second verse and also in the end of uh, the song after the build up when they play the chorus part and the melody goes like this So we can do this with the octave, so the accent here is on the uh, higher strings of course, but we can do it with the octaves. So we have on uh, 12 fret on the D string and 15 on the B, then we go up to 14 and 17, one more fret up, 15, 18, then we have on the A, 12 and on the G, uh, A, 12, G, 14 sliding up three, three frets to the 15 and 17 and then back again and then we add so you, you, you are kind of fretting the 14 fretting the octave here and then adding just 15 on the B and then going to 13 like that during the, um, the part when they played first during the uh, verse in the end he adds this note here it's very barely audible but it's still there it's on the uh, 20, 20 frets of the high E string but during the uh, last part of the song during the chorus um, first of all it begins with uh, the, uh, this first octave here on the 12 and 15 uh, D and a G strings uh, D and a B string I'm sorry uh, it stays for the uh, whole 
parts of the um, chorus and then he plays the melody. Like that. Just a, a little addition to, uh, to the lesson. Alright guys, so this brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you very much for checking it out. If you did like the lesson, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.